Just put on your seatbelt, my man. Put on your fake seatbelt that you don't have. I mean, like, how is this insurance? Can you answer this at me, Biggs? Because last time I checked, you need to be alive to collect the money. Unless you're a lost relative, and then you kill them. But I don't see any relatives. I don't see a relative crying. Yeah, it's close to each other. That's what I like. That's what I like. Just boom, beam, bam, boom. Boom, beam, bam, boom. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure. Dude, I ain't Mac. Thanks I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Elysian are investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Amazing. I just want to get this one thing. This is one thing. So Elysian Fields builds the houses while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. Amazing. All right. So deliver to Elysian Field Development Site Office, 4105 Council Street, to Frank Osterman. From Mr. Leanne Moreau. Re, budget and supply. Daily reports and reconstruction must be addressed. Suburban Redevelopment and submitted in triplicate. Failure to submit delays. Da delays. I don't even say delays. Dallies. I think that's what it says. Da... Dali's, I don't know, is grounds for dismissal. Incorrectly failed supply requests will be ignored. Wow. You're going to ignore my shit just because I what? What if I misspelled it? Is that really enough to just ignore it altogether? Because I don't think so. I don't think that's enough to ignore it altogether. Let's go to this up uh, fire department over here. Where I think it's so far. And, like it has no business to be that far. Okay, it's just I'm turning all over the place. Let's go. We gotta see how this fire started, what this fire did, how why this killed this fire. Fire, fire, fire. That's all we're thinking about now. No murder, no gun, no knife, no anything. Just F-I-R-E. The fire song. F-I-R-E-S-L-N-G. Oh, God, I can't say it. I can't say it that fast. F-I-R-E-S-L-N-G. Fire song. No, it's F-I-R-E-C-A-M-P-S-L-N-G song. No, 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 no. Oh, whatever, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna stop myself because I, I don't know. I'm trying to go from the Spongebob show. And I think it's F-I-R-E-C-F-F-I-R-E-C-A-M-P song. I think it's, I know it's fire camp because I know they're singing at a fire camp. But whatever, that's not what. <laughs> I don't know why we. I don't know why I started bringing up fire camp song. Oh, it's not even that far. What's oh, man? See, I'm complaining for nothing. See, I keep on talking about the fire camp song. Eventually, I'm gonna get there. Eventually, I will get to this. We came as soon as we could. Barely. Lynch. I didn't walk out of my way. You two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Yep, 1947. What does that mean? October then? Is it October, I September? Theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it so, we're listening. Barely. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. Barely. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve. And the balloon represents... The gas expanding in the room. Now the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. I can barely work out how to wake up. Now you want me to work out fire? All right, I'll just close here because it has to explode. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's gonna ignite. Yeah, I know. Thank you.
And boom, I think this is it. How the hell does lighting that match stop the balloon? Come on, Phelps. You need to get the arrangement right before we can reproduce the Yes, results. I know. I didn't know, like, stopping that from, like, doing that. I know this had to be in the middle. Good, your regulator's in position. Thank you. I try. No, 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 you stay there. You stay there. No, why would you move? I told you to stay there. Boom. Now let's get this and let's put it in the only position it has left. No, why would you do that? Why would you just not go to the only one that's left? Bam. Okay, I'll let your pilot. Turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. No, I'm gonna pull this right lever right here. Please. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. And we'll be over here. And we'll be pro. Dude, get out of my way. I used to be in this site. Show? The next fire. She go to the factory and see how nice. many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? Guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Amazing. What about the fireman, huh? Aren't we supposed to have a conversation about him, about how he's credible? No? Did that conversation pass, or did we just miss it all together? I'm gonna say we missed it. And I like how people are, are talking shit that I, I got a side chick. Why does that matter, people? Huh? You telling me you're not fucking anybody on the side? Because I find that hard to believe. I really do. Everybody got that side action. Even your wife got that side action. Why do you think it takes her so long for yoga? She ain't doing it for the practice, I'll tell you that much. She ain't not doing that for the practice. You got that side mother. You got that side motherfucker over here, and you got that side motherfucker over there. You always got a side, dude. Who is it? It's nobody important. Yes, so whoever you are that texted me, you are not important. I'm glad you were finally, I'm glad you finally get to know that. And we are here at InstaHeat. It's a, it's a weird name to come up with, like, it's, it's gonna instantly burn your ass. That's what it sounds like to me, I don't know. IDK. IDK. I'm not sure. I don't come up with these names. I just play the game. Can we go now? Okay, whatever. Yo, what up, man? I mean, girl. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. I'm glad you know what your place is. Here's what I heard. Because, you know, some women are up in the 1940s, you gotta put them in their place. I just kid, though. I just kid, obviously. What on earth is that man doing? I mean, I just ran. What do you think I like I'm doing? Look, $8,050. Just imagine if that was actually today. Just imagine. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. English? It's been reversed. It's a subtle change. But it means the gas never closes off properly. Insta Heat Model 70. 
why do we still sell them? So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Thank you. Heater service history. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. You lying. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Really? Like, they're really... Like, you guys didn't hear about the fire? What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right. He's been in some trouble. I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I. Cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. I'm gonna go call my girl. The only one nice to me. Sarah wants you to be like, shit. I don't be like, I'm not a person. I am a person, you know? I am a person. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter. Previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. He's like a fast shelter. typer. I'll give her that. Thanks. Ryan Matthew. Charge for contempt of court. Attempted murder. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Yes. I'm so glad you don't read the newspapers. I'm sure you're mad as me more than anybody. Buster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley. Where is he? Beverly and Mariposa currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. So you're okay why people just like automatically just stop talking about the warrant. Keep that? on talking. No, you're right. Here. Happy now. Stick around, Mr. Rasick. His name always sounds like Mr. Racist or something. I don't know why. I'm just getting that feeling. Where it says Mr. Racist. My bad. Ah! Clemens is a fellow traveler. Oh, thank you. I saw everything.
Yeah, just click that A button and you automatically go to where you need to go. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Amazing. I'm glad Ryan wants that and I don't because the world doesn't deserve to be better. Incidental. I mean, incidental. How is that an incident? You like me better, girl. Remember that. He was talking to Cole Phelps, the master. The company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Cole, so stop your complaining, Cole. What the hell's wrong with you, boy? Barley has a problem with bugs. Maybe he does, Cole. You never know. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Boy, what is your word? Let's be honest here. You were just sitting down last time Three I came. Birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Let's go get Clem. Oh, just find Clem, Clem from The Walking Dead. The yes, I brought The Walking Dead into a game that has nothing to do with zombies. And it's nighttime. I brought it nighttime, guys. I brought it into nighttime. What's this man doing over here? What is this man doing? There's no one really gonna notice a man just going up to their house uninvited, effing with their shit, fucking with their shit like I would. I'll be like, yo, man, what are you doing with my house? I mean, in my house. Wow, that's. You gotta solve this. Give me your insurance. This is <laughs> that's exactly what I said. I right, let's get out of here. We're cops. It's nothing. No big deal. Happens to us all the time. Next time, learn when you're driving or you'll go downtown. Okay. Yes. So, we're not going to have a conversation about what just inspired back there. Of how we got hit and we didn't arrest him. Because that's what we should have done. Should have stopped him. He hit this dude. Hit me. You know, that was like kind of my fault. At least use a siren. No one wants to hear that siren. Twenty five seven. People get scared, man. Why we want to scare people? They're gonna be like, "Oh shit, the cops are here! Everybody run!" I mean, like, come on. It's just kind to give them a little boost of like, "Oh my god!" Like excitement when we come by because then they get really scared instead of knowing we're gonna be there. Come on, like, come on. You call yourself a cop and you don't know this? Yeah, I'm just gonna go across through these because I am the cop. I am the cops and the cops do whatever the cops want to do. Biggs, LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. I want all the answers. I want all the answers, my man. I want all of them. Knowledge of Varley? You know Reginald Varley? No? Can't say I do. Detroit PD is after Reginald Varley for murder. We want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens. Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Barley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads it around if you can. Employment with InstaHeat. You're licensed and work for InstaHeat? 
I contract for them. So what? I mean, like, this, I, I feel like this is kind of a dumb question. Maybe like the license part's not dumb, but like, are you really, you work for Instaheat, so, I mean, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm looking too low into this, more than too deep into this. Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. <laughs> I always laugh at that. See, I agree with him. Over, but once he says spicks, that's when we had to lower my agreement. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. That's a goddamn lie. I know you have that stupid ass book in your locker. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? You been following me to meetings? Boy. You have your stupid ass thing. Uh, what is it? No. This Clems, is it who we're talking to right now? I believe so. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. It's good to know. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. I mean, we don't know that until we search him. And when we lock him up for two hours, making him sweat until he gives himself up. Go to Barley. Barley's on the run. He might be packing heat. If he's wanted for murder, I say we take the dot out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. You get back in your car. Ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. Yes, it will be better. Okay, I'm hitting all these cars because they're getting in my way. I want everyone to know that. Because they're getting in my way. No, not, not this other way around here. They're getting into my way. Everyone's in front of me. Get out of my way. That's how I see it. What a barley. What up, hombre? Come over here. LAPD barley. Stop or I'll shoot. Alright, now when I was doing this, I was having a hard ass time. No, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this because I know he's gonna cross come across. Right now. Come on, Barley. You can't keep running forever. Okay, see, I'm having a hard time with this. Oh, see, every time it's like the same thing over again. Jump over it, Phelps. Phelps, you're trying too hard. What do you mean, likely to hit a bystander? Oh, I'm stuck. I thought he was gonna jump out the window. He probably got away. I mean, if Phelps can, Phelps can just do the simplest thing ever, that'd be amazing. Oh, yeah, he's got away. God damn it, I was trying to... <laughs> Why can't you just jump out the window, Phelps, huh? Why can't you do the world a favor and just jump out a window? No, you want to make this difficult on everybody. Because you're too dumb to jump over a goddamn window. Go get him, Biggs. Biggs, don't be a quitter. Barley, you can't keep running forever. Yeah, Barley. See, look, look, I'm right there. Boom, shoot him in the leg. Come 